Hello, hams, YouTubers. Well, we're back for part two of the uh, Vectronix 40 meter receiver kit. We're going to uh, power it up and do alignment. Um, I've gone through and visually inspected it, and I started to hook it up, and I thought, ah, I should be uh, should be filming, <laughs> and uh, should point out the the final uh, uh, few uh, wiring bits you had to do. So let me reposition the camera, and we will look at that, and then we will uh, power it up, and we'll align it. So here's the completed board. I was right about the wire from W1. It has to go to one of the inputs on the capacitor. And there are four sections. And you uh, use an individual section or you combine sections to create a range of capacitance for the tuning range that you want with the radio. And uh, for example, on the 40 meter kit, you can have it tuned from as little as uh, 75 kilohertz range to uh, 310 kilohertz range. So you could do the entire 40 meter band, a part of the 40 meter band. Um, 150 kilohertz is what I'm using because I'm going to go from. Uh, here's the chart, right there. So I'm going to go with the 150 kilohertz range because I'm going to go from 7 to 7.15. So I use an 82 picofarad. Uh, portion of the capacitor only. And when you look at the front of the capacitor, there are the different sections. And what you do is you parallel one or more sections depending upon the capacitance you want. In this case, for mine, I wanted the 82 picofarads for 150 kilohertz. So that's only one tap, 82 picofarads. I only had to tap to one point. And conveniently, that point came out the back of the capacitor here, so I was able to tap the wire right to it. Short little run. Uh, obviously we put knobs on, and I have hooked up uh, power and a speaker. I uh, haven't hooked anything to antenna yet. We're looking at the alignment steps, and uh, there's really only two adjustments to make. One is this uh, coil, which is on the uh, input, I think. Um, no, that's the uh, frequency. Yeah, okay, that's the frequency. So uh, that's our first step, and I'm using a signal generator. Zoom out. You can see the frequency counter there in the background. I've got my signal generator set really close to 7 megahertz. I, it's an old analog generator, so I can't get super close, but this will work. And I'm just positioning the board so that uh, the uh, feed for my signal generator is close to the antenna jack and we should be able to get a signal. So they say turn the gain all the way up, set the uh, tuning all the way to the left or the lower end, and uh, power it up and adjust this coil to zero beat for your lowest frequency. So you power it up. You'll need a tuning tool that will fit the coil and all we should have to do, glasses, all we should have to do is tweak that coil until we zero beat on the signal. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that because the audio is not that strong. It's really made for headphones. But I'm pretty much zero beaded right there. It's a little bit drifty. It's going to be a little bit drifty as it warms up. So we did that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. That's that section. Final alignment. Using a signal generator peak C18 for best sensitivity. Okay, so let's get to where we can hear the signal. And for adjusting a capacitor, I have a little plastic 
tuning tool with a little metal blade in it so my hand doesn't get close to it and, and, and affect it. Oh, I heard it come up real big there. Dirty cap. Let me just run it a couple times. Right about there. And I'm pretty much where I want to be at the bottom. It's close enough. It's not really a calibrated receiver. So that, I think, those are our only alignment steps right there. We're done. We're aligned. All I need to do now is hook it up to an antenna and see if it receives. So let me make up something to hook this RCA up to my external antenna and we'll see if we pick up any signals. Okay, we're hooked up to the external antenna. Okay, a note on direct conversion receivers. They pick up both side bands, so if I come down on a CW signal and go past zero beat, I'll hear him just as strongly on the other side. Let's listen. Okay, this guy. See, I'm coming down. I can hear him on the other side. Come back down. Come back up. Tuning is sensitive. Trying to get to around 600 hertz. <laughs> There we go. It doesn't have um, a very narrow filter, so you can hear it really high pitch from somebody who's a ways off. So it's a broad receive range. But it's working. There's some JT65 signals. Well, there you go, the Vectronics 40 meter receiver. Now I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with this little guy. As I said before, I think I'm going to build a companion uh, transmitter, about a 100 milliwatt transmitter, which will just be a strong crystal oscillator with a little filtering and uh, I'm gonna build the two together into a case but that's down the road that's a future project so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and uh, the project and uh, 73